Hello students, I am Dr. Tanumay Vishwash and welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is Silyl Enol Ether. You can see the general structure of this molecule. And we shall discuss mainly today about the preparation and its application or chemical reaction. So before going to details, one MCQ. What is the major product of this reaction? This reaction you can see. I request you student please pause the video. Try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box. And along with the answer, please write few words explaining the logic. And don't worry, at the end of the discussion, you'll get the right answer with explanation. Now, let's start. First, the introduction part. So, the silyl enol ethers are organic chemist, mean organic chemistry, they are class of chemicals or organic compounds that share common functional group composed of an enolate bounded oxygen bounded to its oxygen and organosilicon group means this is in this part if you look at this is enolate O minus it's attached to this or silicon or more specifically organosilicon okay they are very much important intermediate in organic synthesis and they could be stored they are not reactive intermediate they could be stored now so how this silyl ether could be generated silyl enol ether Actually, there are two strategies. First one is KCP or kinetically controlled product. And in this case, these first this ketone, the better to say unsymmetrical ketone, because here is methyl, another case hydrogen. This unsymmetrical ketone is treated with LDA. This is actually lithium diisopropyl amide. Okay, this is a salt, and this is actually more specifically if I say this is a selective proton abstracting reagent or it is a bulky base okay so it can't act as nucleophile it's a bulky base and this bulkness is because of this two isopropyl group consequently it selectively abstract the proton from the less hindered site okay it is not means it feels difficulty abstracting the proton from more bulky side like this one so it abstract left proton from the less bulky side and produce enolate Enolate means it first produce you may consider that the carbon ion is produced here okay so this carbon ion is here and this carbon ion has a canonical form canonical form means negative charge will come here it will open and it will produce this this is called kinetic enolate and LDA prefers this kinetic enolate logic I have explained because of its bulkness now this kinetic enolate this is actually an ionic species and it could be stored or trapped by the reaction of trimethyl silyl chloride in the next step so this oxygen lone pair will attack this silicon center and through nucleophilic substitution type reaction this chloride leaves and it produces this oxygen silicon bond now question what is the driving force for this oxygen silicon bond formation or is there any specific stabilization yes because this oxygen silicon bond is actually a single bond or sigma bond you can consider but its stabilization is more than a single bond what do i mean silicon has energetically accessible vacant d orbital and that can overlap with oxygen's filled p orbital and the lone pair of electron in on oxygen atom could be delocalized into the silicon's vacant d orbital so through this delocalization both atom get stabilization point number one and silicon oxygen bond is more stable than a traditional single bond means this bond has multiple bond character so that is the reason for this stable silicon ether formation or silicon oxygen bond formation and in case of LDA what I say this thermodynamically enolate is disfavored because of steric interaction steric means proton abstraction is difficult but question how to generate this TCP or thermodynamic control product or thermodynamically favored product that is by an another approach but it is little different first of all all this unsymmetrical carbonyl there is a silicon chloride reagent and a very mild base triethylamine is taken in a same pot and reaction started actually student in every case means in case of keto there is an enol actually we know keto or enol are tautomer so this process of keto to enol or enol to keto conversion is called tautomerism and the equilibrium prefers to remain in the keto side generally if there are any specific stabilization factors are absent 
So generally this is uh, favors in keto form, but in reaction medium there is a small amount of enol. So what happens? These enol can act as nucleophile because of this oxygen atom and through this it attacks the silicon center. Question, it could have been act as a nucleophile from the carbon center? Yes, it's true and generally majority of nucleophilic reaction of this enol happens from this carbon site. But this silicon case is exception because of its silicon oxygen bonds exceptional stability and the reason I have just some time before explained. So in this case nucleophilic attack will happen from the oxygen side. This is the exception case. And after that what it will do? It will produce this ox oxygen will have a formal positive charge because the lone pair is attacking and chlorine will leave to produce SiMe3. And just sometime before I told in the reaction medium there is triethylamine and we know triethylamine is actually selective for proton abstraction. Although it is weaker base but look at here the oxygen is carrying a formal positive charge and this H plus could be released. Consequently abstraction of this H plus is easier and consequently this triethylamine is capable to abstract this proton and ultimately it results in a thermodynamically favored silyl enol ether. Now why thermodynamically favored produced here because at the beginning because of keto enol tautomerism this thermodynamically favored enol was produced. Question why it was produced? If you look at this enol little carefully this is the enol structure. This is more stable because because it this alkene this is the double bond or alkene is more substituted okay so more substituted and we know according to sets up rule more substituted alkenes are more stabilized means this enol is stabilized more substituted consequently this product could be converted uh, considered as thermodynamically stable enol and by the way this example so first example i am shows that this is a enol mediated example Second example is the keto, I mean second mechanism better to say keto mediated mechanism. So in if this keto reacts, how it can react? First the lone pair of oxygen from keto can react to the central silicon system and in this way this IEN plus DN mechanism this chlorine will leave. Now after the nucleophilic attack the oxygen will have a formal positive charge and if you compare neutral carbonyl means the cyclohexanone versus this protonated species. This protonated species is far more electron deficient and its tendency for enolization more, it became more electron deficient. Consequently, you can say this alpha proton became more and more acidic, relatively more acidic. Now you can say that sir, there are two chances, both side hydrogen abstraction possible, it's true. But this is actually a equilibration process student, why I am saying because the base is weak, reaction happening slowly, so it is an equilibration and in equilibration that product will be preferred or have more percentage which is relatively more stable or thermodynamically controlled product or TCP. So that is why by using these two method thermodynamically controlled or stable T in all could be prepared and what is the proof of this statement? See in the this is the first step. This is unsymmetrical ketone just shown sometime before. First step is LDA minus 78 degree centigrade. And remember student LDA is a very reactive reagent. That is why reactions are carried out at minus 78 degree centigrade. Second thing, at this temperature minus 78 degree centigrade, the KCP or kinetically controlled product is preferred. By the way, I have already discussed an example or MCQ where I have shown that 25 degree centigrade ex temperature is enough to get the thermodynamically controlled product from, I repeat, from LDA. That is an exceptional example. Please visit. I shall provide the link. Now, second step means in the first step selectively this bulky proton is abstracted means this sorry less bulky proton this and all the keto is converted into enolate. I repeat enolate it converted into and subsequent stage it reacts with TMSCL to get the final KCP exclusively. Okay. And second step as I told all the reagent like TMSCL, triethylamine, DMF all are mixed and see the temperature value 130 degree. Previous one minus 78 degree for KCP whereas 138 degree for TCP. We know higher temperature favors the thermodynamically controlled product. So, and see 88 percent of this more substituted whereas in the previous case only 1 percent of 
केस टी सी पी वैर एज नाइनटी नाइन परसेंट ऑलमोस्ट एव ऑल आर के सी पी सो दिस इज ए क्लियर कट एग्जाम्पल वेर यू कैन सी दैट डिपेंडिंग अपन द कंडीशन हाउ मच परसेंटेज ऑफ कोरोस्पॉन्डिंग सब्सटीट्यूटेड के सी पी और टी सी पी सिलाइल इथर प्रोटेक्टेड मॉलिक्यूल कुड बी प्रिपेयर नाउ इफ यू लुक एट द केमिकल नेचर ऑफ द मॉलिक्यूल और इनोलेट विच इज एक्चुअली अ न्यूक्लियोफाइल इन नेचर वाई दिस इज न्यूक्लियोफाइल बिकॉज दिस इज द सिलाइल इथर मीन्स समटाइम बिफोर यू हैव सीन द सिंथेसिस एंड इट्स ट्रैपिंग सो वॉट हैपन्स इट कैन पुश दिस लोन पेयर हियर एंड इट कैन ओपन एंड इट कैन हैव दिस कैनोनिकल फ्रॉम एंड यू कैन सी हियर क्लियरली इन दिस केस द नेगेटिव चार्ज डेंसिटी ऑन दिस कार्बन इज मोर सो वी कैन से दैट दिस कार्बन सेंटर इज न्यूक्लियोफिलिक actually it is nucleophilic because first of all charge density is more point number 1 second carbon center is softer in nature compared to compared to oxygen atom so that's why this center is nucleophilic but but one thing student this canonical form if you look at this is actually a charge separated canonical form i repeat it is a charge separated canonical form and when there is a charge separation in any canonical form its contribution reduces why because charge separation means from a neutral molecule charge separation means introduction of some instability in organic molecule so if a canonical form is associated with charge separation then the contribution of that canonical form to the overall structure or overall electronic distribution contribution is less its contribution is less contribution you can consider so if its contribution is less so you can consider that it is a softer nucleophilic but it's a weaker nucleophile okay and in order to react its activity what we can do increase of the reactivity of the other reactant i shall come mukayamaldol synthesis so this is one strategy and another strategy is removal of simi3 and we can prepare this o minus then electron density is more because the situation system is anionic so two strategy one is deprotonation of tms group trimethylsilyl group and second increase of the other reactant so this way its reactivity could be increased and we can bring about the particular reaction of our interest now before going to example some electronic reactivity data this is taken from wise dot education so if you look at the reactivity this metalloenamines are more electron rich in this way you can see this is the electron richness i would say electron richness why if you go here electron richness increases so reactivity also increases okay so this is in this way reactivity also increases now metalloenamines because this is having this is the this this is negative and if you compare these versus o minus question who is more nucleophilic obviously the nitrogen analog because electronegativity of nitrogen is less compared to electronegativity of oxygen and what is the definition of electronegativity electronegativity means the power or capability to hold the electron density towards itself now in both case both are mono anionic but oxygen is more electronegative so it will prefer to keep the charge on itself consequently the charge density on this alpha carbon will be expected to be relatively less compared to nitrogen analog so that's why this metalloenamines are more electron rich compared to metalloenalates both like so lithium potassium elements means alkali metal or this third means boron aluminum etc and they are further reactive compared to enamines i have already discussed or dedicated lecture you may visit for better understanding and next goes to silyl enol ether and after that oac why this oac is let because it is attached to this carbon it's an ester acetate ester so that's so from this thing we can also see that the silyl enol ethers are not sufficiently reactive not sufficiently reactive so some step could be needed one step is conversion of this silyl ether into metal enolates like silyl deprotection and other is activation of the other one i shall come so first one is silyl deprotection 
or you can consider generation of lithi lithium enolate from this silyl enol ether. So how this could be done? There are mainly two ways. This first way is treatment of methyl lithium. Why? We know in case of methyl lithium, this is negatively charged methyl group. The polarity of carbon metal carbon bond is maximum you can consider in case of lithium or group 1 metals more specifically if I say because if you go from lithium to potassium reactivity further increases just group 1 carbon bond if you check that is significantly polar. So, if it is polar it can what do it can attack this silicon center similarly and in this way it will produce tetramethyl silane. Now, you can think that sir sometime before you told that oxygen silicon bond is relatively more stronger than carbon silicon bond. That is the main reason why O minus attack the uh, TMSCL not this alpha carbon, but why this reaction happens. First of all this methyl lithium student is a very reactive reagent point number one. Second this tetramethyl silane is all is a volatile. So, if you may consider it if it is an equilibration. So, these will come out from the reaction medium. Reaction rate may be means it may not be that much, but it is coming out from the reaction medium because its boiling point is 28 degrees centigrade. And in this way, what it will produce? It will produce lithium oxygen bond. And remember, lithium and oxygen both belongs to second row element. So the overlap between these two atoms bond is a good one. So that's why it is produced now compared to this compared to this silicon protected one this one is better nucleophile ok. Another one that is a fluoride mediated method for enolate generation because if this silicon tetramethyl means silicon ether treated with fluoride what happens it produces tetramethyl trimethyl silicon fluoride why similar like oxygen this silicon fluoride bond is also stronger why because fluorine has three lone pair like oxygen it is also a second row element so it can form d pi p pi back bonding with fluorine similar like oxygen so that's why this bond is stronger and in this way this enolate is generated and this enolate has a canonical form where the negative charge goes on carbon and we know this carbon scient is a better nucleophile and this is reactive enough such that it can react with carbon dioxide more specifically if I see this is actually a label carbon dioxide and in this way it can produce this carboxylic acid or beta keto acid derivative. And in this case simple fluoride salt is used compared to that cesium fluoride could be used and this fluoride is actually this is ionic but you may consider group 1 metal halide I uh, metal fluoride. Similar reactivity you can expect this cesium means this is minus cesium plus similarly it reacts with carbon dioxide. Now a question may come in your mind that sir who is better reagent for as fluoride source in enolate opening two argument tetrabutyl or tetraalkyl ammonium fluoride or sodium fluoride or cesium fluoride who is better for remember student we are talking about organic reaction and I based on this context the better reagent actually is tetrabutyl ammonium fluoride why because you can remember the concept of PTC by the have already discussed a dedicated lecture on PTC or phase transfer catalyst where you can see that this quaternary ammonium salts although they are ionic they are soluble in organic solvent because of the presence of 4 R group who are actually organic in nature. So that is why the concentration of fluoride ion in the reaction medium is more so you can expect that reaction will happen more efficiently. So this is another concept please try to remember. Now, let us come to the application of this concept that is silyl enol ether application that is CC bond formation. How? In this way this enolate actually react a alkyl halide, alkyl chloride in presence of a tritanium tetrachloride which is very strong Lewis acid. So, what it does? This chlorine have lone pair of electron and titanium center is a very strong Lewis acid. So, what it does? It coordinates its lone pair or donate its lone pair to titanium center. So, in this way titanium also gets stabilized, but after donation chlorine gets slight amount of positive charge on itself. Now, chlorine is a very high electronegative atom. It do not like to keep positive charge on it 
and it is a proper design because it's a tertiary halide okay so what can happen this chlorine can leave chloride as chloride minus chloride minus is stabilized by the coordination with this titanium tetrachloride but after this what is the fate of this carbon skeleton it's a tertiary carbocation we know that tertiary carbocations are highly stable so what happens in the next stage next stage the silicon enol ether attacks to the carbon center okay so in this way what it produces a carbon carbon bond is produced now after this carbon carbon bond production what happens it is true that there is a silicon oxygen bond but the oxygen is carrying a positive charge means oxygen is electron deficient so what in the next step you can happen that someone will attack this silicon and these oxygen silicon bond will leave break why because after if these bond pair leaves then oxygen is relieved from the positive charge oxygen is a very high electronegative atom it do not like to keep positive charge itself for a long time and in this case in the reaction medium there is a chloride anion which is taken out from this alkyl chloride because of this titanium 4 plus that is reacted and produces the final trimethyl silyl chloride so actually everything happens because of this lewis acid so this is lewis acid mediated carbon carbon bond formation using this uh, tertiary halide and silyl enol ether so this is one type now another type of carbon carbon bond formation that is mukayama aldol addition what in this reaction in this reaction also this titanium tetrachloride is used as lewis acid or more specifically say strong lewis acid so what it does in this case this tiCl4 coordinates with this lone pair of this aldehyde okay ti4 plus plus four oxidation state so that's how the electron deficiency at this carbonyl carbon increases so it became a better electrophile and that's why although this silicon enol ether is a weaker nucleophile still it can attack and after the reaction through hydrolysis we can produce this beta hydroxy carbonyl derivative and by the way this is a asymmetric center student please remember and that's how we can depending on proper condition in chiral environment we can make an ensure selective product also we shall discuss some other videos so in this case role of tiCl4 is a very strong lewis acid now not only that another could be michael reaction michael addition as i told that this carbon center is actually a softer nucleophile okay so if it reacts with alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound it is expected that it will prefer to attack on the beta carbon because beta carbon is relatively more stronger point number one and like previous mukayama aldol reaction this ti4 plus act as a lewis acid to activate the alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl by simple lewis acid based adduct formation or coordination so obviously this silicon will push and this carbon center will attack here now what is the then product so this is the ph this is double bond o after attack so this is si me3 fine and this part up to this tmscl part in the second phase this is the alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound now so this is this is the o minus this and this is the ti4 plus okay so this now in this way in the next step it will come back and it will abstract a proton and ultimately it will convert into the corresponding you can let me draw it here carefully this is the ph this is the o s i m e 3 having a plus charge so this here this is the o and this hydrogen one hydrogen abstract proton so in the next step the hydrolysis by this k 2 c o 3 water what it will do this bond will broken and carbonyl will be regained so in this way cc bond formation could be achieved by michael addition reaction and by the way i have already discussed many lectures on this michael addition you may visit for better understanding now let's come to another example that is one three dicarbonyl preparation how this is done for that purpose acid chloride is taken and we know acid chloride is 
very reactive electrophile. So this center is already activated acid chloride. So it reacts in, in this reaction zinc chloride also act as a Lewis acid and it enhances the electron deficiency or electrophilicity. So that is how similar strategy like this lone pair pushes and this carbon center goes and attacks. So it opens up it is come back and this. You may consider it as a Claisen type reaction, Claisen ester condensation type reaction. I have already discussed previously, and in this way, it produces 1, 2, 3. So, 1, 3 dicarbonyl compound or active methylene compound derivative because this proton of this compound is significantly acidic, means more acidic compared to carbon, simple alpha uh, hydrogen of carbonyl because it is doubly activated. So, 1, 3 dicarbonyl, carbon, carbon, dicarbonyl compound could be prepared in this way. Next application is rubatum oxidation. What is the base of this oxidation? If you look at this part, just look at this part. Let me draw it here. This is oxygen. This is actually just consider. So, this case double bond is in conjugation with oxygen, means oxygen is donating its electron. Okay. So, you can consider this is electron rich alkene okay so this double for this double bond you can consider electron rich alkene so the reaction which alkene can do better being electron rich could be observed in case of this silical silyl enol ether 2 like mcpba mediated epoxidation of alkene remember mcpba mediated epoxidation of alkene is actually a electrophilic epoxidation reaction. I have already discussed a dedicated lecture in my visit. So, in this case double bond should be electron rich and MCPB is electron deficient because of the peroxy linkage. Now, if the double bond is more electron rich then reaction becomes easier and same thing is happening here and this is the structure of metachloroparbenzoic acid. Why it is called parbenzoic acid? because of this peroxy linkage where the oxidation state is minus 1 minus 1 that is why it is electron deficient whereas alkene should be electron rich and in this way what al this reaction does it produces a epoxide like just forget about this part this it is actually alkene so epoxidation on the alkene part happened it. Now if you look at little closely this carbon this part is actually a gem diol type and other carbon it is a simple carbon oxygen bond. So, if hydrolysis is done this gem diol is converted into keto and that neighboring carbon oxygen bond is there as OSI R3 through next step hydrolysis it can finally produce alpha hydroxy ketone. So, this is another application of silyl enol ether and this is named as rubatum oxidation. So, in summary if we consider the reactivity of this silicon enol ether, it could be produced from carbonyl okay, or from enolate means sorry uh, carbonyl and it could be deprotonated directly to enolate using either butyl lithium or fluoride salt. Now, if we discuss about the chemical reactivity, this silyl protected enol ether can react with any X plus like fluorine, chlorine, bromine etc and produce this alpha substituted. Now, here a question may come in your mind sir fluorine as F plus is it really possible by the way isolated F plus not possible but proper designing of chemical substance could be done based on that you can get reactivity like F plus it is called electrophilic fluorination and by the way I have already discussed this chemistry in details please visit. Now other thing like electrophilic chlorination bromination etc I guess you are familiar with. Second, not only that this tertiary alkyl halide and titanium 4 plus can also result in this carbon carbon this bond formation fine. Just at the beginning example I have shown. Third is mukayama aldol type reaction. This is actually rubatum oxidation sometime before I have shown. This is a similar like acyl nucleophilic substitution type this PHSO2Cl and finally this is hydroboration oxidation result in 1 to diol. So, this is the overall chemical property of this enol silyl ether. Now, in conclusion what you have learned today, 
enol ethers are activated alkene for reaction with electrophile they are actually electron rich molecules removal of silic silicon protection from this molecule generates an enolate which are more nucleophilic because they are anionic species means more electron rich so more nucleophilic without the removal of silicon protection activation of the other reagent is essential for chemical transformation example mukayama aldol synthesis now nucleophilic reaction happens from carbon center because carbon is softer in nature and finally cross aldol condensation is very important uh, chemical reaction and the selectivity or enantiomeric excess could be obtained and could be tuned and by the way remember this silyl enol ether are important for this cross aldol con condensation and mukayama aldol condensation is one of the example of cross aldol condensation so let's come back to our mcq what is the major product of this reaction please student in this case please look at what the molecule is given and equivalence of lda now this molecule is actually active methylene compound because the protons here are significantly acidic compared to the other proton here but lda it's a very very strong base don't think about it so what will happen in the first step first step lda will abstract one proton from the active methylene group means here negative charge will be generated fine and this is now after abstraction of one proton this other hydrogen is not that much acidic whereas but the other hydrogen means the, this one this one is significantly more acidic so second molecule of lda what it can do it can again abstract this proton and make a dianion so this is the most unique or property of these molecules student please remember this this is the important thing so so lda what it does first this second this now a simple question which carbon ion is more stable for example let's compare this is carbon ion one this is carbon ion two obviously carbon ion one is more stable why because carbon ion one is doubly stabilized through this ester carbonyl one and second is through this keto carbonyl two say so do both pathway but this number two carbonyl is only stabilized by one pathway with this keto carbonyl so from this thing you can consider that this keto carbonyl is more reactive more reactive due to electron density because it's elect electron density on this carbon is more if the electron density is more and in both case nucleophilic center is carbon both case so whoever having more electron density that is more efficient new electron you can consider nucleophile electron density on carbon is more it is more reactive so what happens it can react so it can attack this methyl center and this iodide can leave so ultimately it will produce this derivative okay so it will produce substitution at this carbon Uh, this methyl okay so what is the answer answer of today's question is option d now so if this question is given to you less than 30 second how can you solve first of all 2.1 equivalent lda so number 1 will be abstracted this it's true but after that it will not be abstracted and where the acidic proton there only this second thing you need to understand the delocalization of the negative charge this is doubly delocalized singly so nucleophilic center more electron density so it will react and one equivalent of methyl iodide is mentioned clearly so reaction will happen here so this chemistry you need to know and why not other reaction students anion generation possible then methyl iodide there so no reaction this is actually no reaction starting not possible second this is not possible because of electron density less here because the electron density is delocalized over this two carbonyl so it is less reactive third it's this this is not possible because i have given electrophilic reagent ch3i if you check the carbon center is delta plus it could not be delta minus and lda is a base not reducing agent so this ch3 minus generation not possible and if it is not possible this c option cannot be produced so right answer is option d 
so this is and now another question why 2.1 equivalent of LDA used not 2 equivalent or 3 equivalent so I guess now you can visualize it properly why 2.1 equivalent of LDA used see these LDA they are very they are actually moisture sensitive chemicals see the chemical structure this is bulky amide but it is a moisture sensitive chemical D when we do any chemical reaction this LDA or butyl lithium or Grignard is advised to take slight excess. Why? Because the solvent can have some moisture. One option. Another thing, the environment means the air that can contain some moisture or you are doing that reaction in uh, nitrogen environment. That nitrogen gas some has moisture as impurity and you can say that sir, how, what are you telling? This much less impurity. Remember student, when you are doing a chemical reaction, you are taking 2 millimole substrate. You are taking solution, uh, solvent 20 ml and you are taking a 100 ml RB. So just consider the volume. So 100 ml volume in that volume is called among in 100 ml 20 ml is liquid and 80 ml is air. So moisture is significantly enough and 2 millimole only reagent. So, if slight amount of reagent is quenched because of moisture present in this solvent system or this setup, that is a negative effect because that will quench the base. So, reaction will be incomplete. In order to encounter that slight excess, that is 2.1 equivalent is taken because for our chemical reaction, we need 2 equivalent. We are taking slight excess. Now, so if we take 2.0, reaction is expected to be incomplete. If we take 3, that is a waste of reagent. And this is a costly important reagent LDA why should we waste it and no chemical should be waste because it is also associated with environmental pollution okay so this is the end of the discussion I believe this video may be useful if it is useful please help this channel to grow and if possible please visit my another channel where I upload global warming and climate change related videos so thanks for watching see you in my next video God bless you